Hello folks, it's Annie Thoreau and I'm talking about eclipses today. We have a very powerful solar eclipse taking place on December the 14th and of course this is the last eclipse of the year, number six. Usually we only have four to five eclipses a year so it's it's been a heavy hitter year all around for many reasons. Some eclipses are more intense than others and so their impact lasts longer, but generally there's a six month window to see changes. And one thing I always advise is don't make any big decisions the week before or the week after an eclipse. It's best to reflect at this time because you might end up changing your mind. In fact, the strong energy at this time is great for any kind of sadhana that you have, um, especially during especially during a solar eclipse, because the moon is new and thus it's the darkest at this time. So let's uh, talk about December's solar eclipse. Um, yeah, one more thing before I get into this. I, um, I very, very seldom use um, Facebook. And um, so uh, if you want to add me, I think Instagram would be better because I add notices of main transits coming up there. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about the eclipse. Now, we have a solar eclipse taking place in Scorpio on December the 14th at approximately 5 p.m. UTC in the Nakshatra Abjaisa at 29 degrees. So right at the entry of that Gandhant zone, that very intense Gandhant zone, we have Mercury at the exact same degree as Ketu in Scorpio. And the eclipse is caused by Ketu, which is about four degrees away. So that's another reason why it's an intense eclipse. Mercury's connection here is very critical because it's also the ruling planet of Jaisa, where all the action is taking place. We also have to pay attention to Mars's position because it's the ruler of Scorpio. So both Mars and Mercury figure very strongly in this eclipse. Yet another reason Mars is so critical here is because it's um, moving through Ravithi also ruled by Mercury. So a very strong connection between Mars and Mercury. In fact, they are placed in a trinal position from each other. Yeah, Scorpio and Pisces. So they're making what we call a sampand, a connection, a five nine connection, a very tight connection within one degree, in fact. Venus is also close by in Scorpio in the nakshatra of Anuradha. So the energy of death and rebirth is very strong here because Scorpio is hosting this eclipse. So expect transformation in the areas that Mars and Mercury represent for you. See also where Scorpio falls in your chart to see the areas where you can expect some changes. This will be a turning point for many people as we're also approaching the great conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter the following week. So everyone's going to feel this eclipse the entire week starting on the 14th till the 21st. This will probably be a very, very eventful week. One that we haven't seen in a very long time. It will clear away all the old structures, old ways of living, and open a new path for everyone. Of course, again, this affects that Taurus and Scorpio axis directly, but also those who have personal planets sitting close to the eclipse degree. This eclipse is also very special because it's at the beginning of the Gandhanth degree. Now, it depends on what you take to be the Gandhanth zone. Some astrologers take it from 27 degrees till 30. Um, but I think most astrologers would say it's that one degree from the 29th to the 30th. So it's at the very, very beginning. This can, of course, force us into making decisions that we may not want to make. So pay attention to Mercury's rulership for you 
as this is the area of your life that can see some real transformation. This is even doubly important if you are in a Mercury Dasha or a Mercury Antar Dasha. Now the eclipse takes place in the fourth Bada of Jaisha in the Pisces Navamsha. And this can be a very emotional Bada and can lead to very self-destructive behavior. So be aware of this. Um, and I would say especially be cautious of substance abuse at this time as we are approaching the holiday season. Yeah. Being that it is falling in the fourth Pada and landing in the Pisces Navamsha, we may experience it, a letting go of sorts in various areas of life. Your sense of right and wrong could also be flawed at this time, so try not to get too stuck on your own opinions and try to force them on others. I would recommend connecting with any sort of spiritual community and um, events of that nature so just to get through this this, this phase here um, again see what Scorpio represents for you if it's for example your second house um, or your 11th house then this could be related to money or income if it's your seventh house you may be reevaluating your partnerships with Mercury connecting with Mars so strongly it's important not to jump to conclusions and get into any fights or arguments communications could be muddled at this time, creating chances of misunderstanding. So check and double check all of your communications, especially the written ones. Now let's talk a little bit about Jaisa where the eclipse is taking place. Yeah? Jaisa means elder. This could signify elder in experience or age or status. Indra is the ruling deity of this nakshatra, so it can also suggest a powerful authority influencing our lives at this time where we have little say in the matters in front of us. Um, it can show up in areas that are represented by Scorpio in your chart, so see what Scorpio represents. Jaisa also represents those that are hot-headed, take impulsive decisions, and don't accept the advice of others. But it's also a star that gives strength of character, persistence, and focus. So it can be a good time to take charge of your life and plan and organize for the next few months. In a positive framework, you can use this time to focus on your goals and it's how to accomplish yourself in your career as well. Perhaps find new ways to make an income. Judge side is also good for taking on responsibilities, taking control of your life, for planning, discussion on serious issues, so excellent time to face up to some issues. If you've been keen to explore more of the occult subjects, this eclipse can help you do that. I would say be wary of confrontations and being insensitive and taking advantage of others. And be wary of infidelity in relationships at this time. I've written, I've written a monthly forecast on this uh, where you can read more about it. So you can log in there. Uh, you can also subscribe to it. So, thank you everyone. That's all for now. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button. Cheers.